What's good you guys? Shewan and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Shulani Kosa. Please do click the subscribe button to join the Lani guy. And don't forget to also click the subscribe the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video. So guys, for today's video, as you can see, I'm back with another hair tutorial. If you want to see how I achieved this look, please do stay tuned. Hey guys, so first of all, what you're going to need is a mannequin head. And also you're going to need your wig cap. You can use any wig cap that you like. This is the only one that I found in store. And also, obviously, you're going to need your hair. I used this one and it was 60 rand from a china shop. It came in three bundles so yeah i used all of all three of them and i also had to use some extra pieces that are left from a wig that i made previously so yeah and then also you're gonna need wool and a needle So yeah, I'm just showing you guys how the hair looks. Um, it's so nice. It's so soft. Although it looks like it's not soft, but it it is so soft, very soft. And it was double wafted. I didn't um, remove the weft. I just used them as they were. Yeah, double wafted. So guys, when you're starting, okay, let me just pull you guys closer, and one, two, three, there we go. So guys, when you're starting, you don't want to put, the, you want to like put the hair, uh, put the needle through the weft of the bundle first. Just see, just like that. Oh, and through the weft first, and then... The rest you can do like your normal uh, sewing, how you sew. You guys, I'm so bad at explaining. <laughs> I just want you guys to see. So guys, as you can see, the way that I'm doing this thing, the way that I'm sewing in, just look at how I do it. Like, when you do it this way, you, at the end, you like tie a knot, so you don't have to go back and tie a knot. When you do it this way, it's very much secure, and I feel like it's way faster, and the hair will be secured for like forever. That's how I do all my wigs, whether it's Brazilian or whether it's Brazilian synth yeah, or synthetic. That's how I do my hair, my wigs. So I just went all around, just like that, all around the head. And when I got to where my the circle finishes... <laughs> When I got to like the end of the circle, like the end of the head to the, uh, you guys, yeah, you'll see, man, what I'm talking about. When I got there, I didn't cut the hair because when you cut the hair, you are promoting shedding. Your hair will shed. So I didn't do that. I didn't cut it. I just continued with uh, the sewing. I didn't cut anything. Yeah, this is the part that I was talking about. Where you like, when you get to where the hair joins where you started. I don't know how to explain it, guys. You. <laughs> but just watch.
so guys at this point i was on the third bundle and i was very worried that this hair will not finish but i did manage to finish and as you can see here i was kind of opening a, a huge gap in between the hair that's because i wanted to finish faster and also another thing i also didn't want this hair to be like full and heavy nah but i did go back and add some pieces that i found in the house pieces from uh the wigs that i made previously so i just went in and added as you can see there's a very big gap in between yeah don't forget to subscribe guys So you see me there, I'm adding pieces and I also went in and added all over the head to just make it full and just cover up the, the gaps that I had made. Yo, and then Eskom decided to do the things. And yeah, guys, here's the final look. If you did enjoy, please do give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.